the Sandown Handicap Chase is next. And this is another low grader. It's another 0 to 90. And he's in it again. He's in it again. Would you believe it? Ali <laughs> Queen Queen, Stu Gray. Pembry for Matt Cooper. Maximum Mayhem for Alex Cherry. And Sylvester's for Matt Cooper as well. <laughs> I should point out that I'm only joking there away. And racing and into the first of the... I'm not sure how many fences they've got to take. 20 they've got to take. They're going to get down to the second. They get to it really quickly. And then all safe for you, everybody that knows me and Stu know that we do this all the time. So it's all a bit of fun. The texts are normally flying throughout the day as well. You should have heard him the other night when... The other week when Everton were playing and not playing very well. Which I know could have been any week, couldn't it? But anyway, they're over the water. And Sylvestris is in the lead. I'm pleased to say that Doug still joins in with those little conversations as well. Gone but not forgotten, Doug. He was busy doing other things over his side of the world. Maybe one day he'll be back, who knows. We take the fifth. Uh, Sylvestris lands in the lead from Bally Quinn Queen and Stu Gray, grade winning trainer. Grade one winning trainer. Well, having said that, I'm pretty sure Alex Cherry must have won a grade one by now. He's been around a long time as well. Uh, Matt Cooper's been. Having some pretty good results for a rookie as well. I think this is still his first season or is his second season? I don't know, but he's doing okay and he's stuck at it, so that's a good thing. And Sylvestris is in the lead. As they get to the seventh, every possibility, of course, that Matt Cooper is the only person watching this race because Stu Gray may well have run it because he is a race runner and Alex Cherry puts it all together so you might see what happens when he's putting it together and not bother watching the end product for all I know so oh what is a crashing fall there for Pembry Pembry's gone so could be just me talking to you Matt at the moment so if you're in the lead anyway um, Stu's in second and Alex is in third as they head up past the stand and take the fence that'll be the last one well, it's not the fence will be the last of the next circuit it's a part of the side of the fence will be the last one on the next circuit because they'll take the plain side of it next time i'm going to challenge to anybody who does modding and stuff it may be impossible because i don't know how you do all that and again probably shouldn't be saying this in this race because there's nobody watching it how can we do something about the crowd it's only somebody could make some more realistic looking spectators they do look a bit daft. And it's Sylvestris in front from Bally Quinn Queen in second. And Maximum Mayhem back in third. As they race downhill. And Sylvestris continues to lead by a couple of lengths to Bally Quinn Queen in second. And Maximum Mayhem third. Pembry the one that's departed. Now then with Sylvestris in the lead. Oh, and that time it was Maximum Mayhem that made a mistake. Good jump there by the Grey Bally Queen Queen has seen that one jump into the lead, in fact. Got a neck up as they get to this ditch. Bally Queen Queen and Sylvestris be heading down towards the water. With Maximum Mayhem some eight minutes back in third. Queen half a length up on Sylvestris. Both jumped that well. Maximum Mayhem back in third. Getting a bit closer. Over the middle one of the railways. And Bally Queen Queen from Sylvestris. So Maximum Mayhem is only four lengths adrift now. That. And he's getting close. Probably the most experienced one, that Maximum Mayhem. I'm pretty sure it's been around a season or so. Sylvestris is in front, Bally Quinn Coin. He's in second, and Maximum Mayhem is getting closer. Bally Quinn Queen just beginning to struggle another top weight. And Sylvestris kicks on, they get over the pond, a third from home. And suddenly there's a race on, and Maximum Mayhem sweeps around the outside. 
and swoops into the lead. And over the second last, Maximum Mayhem races away, and this race is over. He jumps the last okay. That's a Mayhem and sitting out the back for most of the race. He looks a cut above these other two and pops over the last. Bally Queen Queen will not in second. Sylvester's back in third, but Maximum Mayhem's going to make, make it a good, easy eight length win, I would think. And then the winning post we've got that side. Oh, just a one on that side, that's not so bad. There we go. Bally Queen Queen second, and Sylvester's third, so a win for Alex Cherry. Maximum Mayhem, Sylvester's second for Stu Gray, and. No, sorry, Bally Queen Queen second for Stu Gray, and Sylvester's third for Matt Cooper.